So I was emailed a question this morning um, from this packet of work that we received from the district um, around spring break time. And we had been working on problems on pages three and four and five and six. And these two problems I was emailed are on page four, numbers eight and nine here. And I realized as I was reworking this this morning that this should have been uh, to the second power. So um, I'll show you how that works. So we could solve this two ways. When I first did this, I did inside the parentheses first, thinking of order of operations. And so I did eight to the four minus five times five to the third power. And that was raised to the second power. <clears throat> Why minus five? Because this was uh, raised to the fifth power in the denominator and these have the same base. So we're gonna combine these. The next step here, I end up getting eight to the negative one times five to the third power raised to the second power. This is a negative exponent, so it's gonna to have to go into the denominator. Five to the third over eight to the one raised to the second power. And then when I multiply those two, this becomes six over eight to the second power. And that was my mistake in the original when I posted the picture of this, I did not put that, that two there. <clears throat> If I wanted to do this where I multiply the power first instead of dealing with inside the parentheses, we're going to end in the same place. So I would get 8 to the 8 times 5 to the 6th over 8 to the 10th by taking that 2 and multiplying it by all of the exponents. The next step then would be to deal with the base of eight, eight minus 10 times five to the six. And we end up with eight to the negative two times five to the six. And because that's a negative exponent, it's going to go in the denominator. And we end up with five to the sixth power. The second problem that uh, was asked to show the process is very similar. It's number nine on that on page four of that packet five to the eighth times three to the seventh over five to the fourth, and that's all raised to the 10th power. So first thing I like to do first, I know it looks like it's more steps, but I've just set in my mind, I do what's in the parentheses first. Um, five and five, I've got the same base here. So I'm gonna rewrite this as five to the eight minus four times three to the seventh raised to the 10th power. And that's gonna be five to the four times three to the seventh raised to the 10th power. And I end up with five to the 40th power times three to the 70th power. So there are our answers. And let me know if you have other questions.